Hello. I'm going to take a look at a hand played here recently to see how a three level preemptive opening can disrupt the auction for your opponents. South to open the bidding here. And when you first learn bridge, you're taught that you need 11 or 12 points at least in order to open the auction. So here we're going to pass uh, the south hand. West has uh, kind of a no trumpy hand, but two double turns. So we'll open that with long suit to one club. Partner has nothing to say really, so pass. Two four card suits, go to bid the hearts this time, go for the major suit. Now, as south, we have an overcall here. We definitely have an overcall that we can do at the one level, but let's be a bit more disruptive and go in at the two level with a weak jump overcall. That pushes west to answer three, but I think west will do that with the, the two doubletons there. Three hearts. A pass from partner. And east, we'll put this up to four hearts. With everyone passing. So east, west have a bid to a nice easy contract here, four hearts. And when we look at east, west hand, we can see that they have 25 points between them. They've got an eight card suit fit in a major suit. And the contract is probably rightly theirs. When we play this through, we will, by the way, be leading uh, the king from this from this two on a sequence in the south hand. But we will uh, be losing that trick. We're likely here to win no more than three tricks. But no matter how the hand is played, east west are going to make their four hearts, and they're going to score. 620 points because they're vulnerable. That's minus 620 to us in North South. So let's rewind. We deal her in the South, and this time we're going to bid this lucky spade suit. We're going to make a three level preemptive opening. The advantages in doing that are if we open spades at the three level, that's going to really cause a problem for East West. And also it gives partner very accurate information about, about our holding. So what are the requirements then for opening the bidding at the three level? Seven card suit with two honours in the suit. If you remember about checking suit quality for overcalls, you can use that test here. A seven card suit with two honours gives a suit quality of nine, suggesting that you can open the three level. Five to nine high card points, so a very weak hand. No four card major. This is really important because you may be preempting your partner. Partner may have a four card major fit with you and you would be missing the opportunity to find that. And few defensive tricks. There's not much point in bidding to the three level if you've got enough cards in your hand to defend any contract that your opponents may get into. So if you've got around three good defensive tricks in your hand, and those are going to be aces, kings, queens, maybe better to sit back and use those cards in defense. Okay, so back to the hand. Here we have it. We have a seven card suit. We have two honors. Not quite enough in terms of defensive tricks should our opponents end up in a contract. We're going to bid three spades. Now, West, what is West going to do? Not the right shape for doing a takeout double. Quite often a takeout double follows a preemptive opening because the next player is likely to be short in the suit that we've bid. But in this case, it's not really the right shape. West doesn't have sufficient in the diamonds to make it a descriptive bid. The West is going to have to pass. How does North do? Now it's easy here because North has seven points. North knows that partner has between five and nine. This is a straightforward pass from, from North. 
In fact, to make a positive bid here, North would either need some extra trumps, in this case, some extra spades, and to be bidding a game, you'll probably need 15 or 16 points to be thinking about making a positive bid toward game. For now, uh, with this seven-point hand partner, it's going to pass. East, again, you know, if East is going to bid, they have to come in at the at the three-note trump or the four level. And again, East's only sensible bid here is to pass. We can start to play this out. We have a lead from West of the Three of Hearts. Low card, promising an honour. We'll skip to the end of the play now. So the final score, North South, by bidding this preemptive three spades, has gone down by two tricks for a score of minus 100 points. That might not sound like good news, but it's very good news compared with of the previous bidding. East West played in four hearts, making 620. I'm sure that you would much rather be down by 100 points than down by 620 points is a good result on this hand. Before we leave the topic of three level bids, I just want to have a look at when we should be very wary of making a preemptive bid. And that's because we may sometimes be at risk of preempting our partner. And often this depends on where we are sitting at the table. First to bid, then no one has bid who there are three other people at the table who will have a share of the points. And two of those people are your opponents and one is your partner. When you're the first person to bid, you have a 33% chance of preempting your partner and a 66% chance of preempting opponents. So bidding in first seat is okay. Bidding in second seat, this is where we have to be very careful. In second seat, one of our opponents has already passed. The chances of preempting our partner are 50%. And that's to preempt when you're second to bid. Make sure you have a very solid preemptive hand. Seven cards in the suit and two good honours in the suit. And in particular with these, no four card major, because that's where we may be missing a fit with our partner. In third seat, this is the good news. In third seat, you can be a little bit more loose about the about the shape of your hand. You might even have a few more points than nine or one less honour, because now the chances of you preempting your partner are nil, because your partner has already bid. In third seat, that's a good time to make a preemptive bid at the three level because it's just your opponent in fourth seat who hasn't bid, and it will make their life more difficult. In fourth seat, of course, if you're sitting in fourth seat, there's no point in preempting now. There's nobody left to preempt. That was a short introduction to three level preemptive openings. You can also make a preemptive opening bid at the four and five level. At the four level, you need eight cards in the suit, and at the five level, you need nine cards in the suit. It's worth opening a preempt whenever you think that it will cause problems for your opponents rather than for your partner. I hope that's helpful. Goodbye.